In this video, I will explain you how we can apply wave theory in the case of reflection. In reflection, we know that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection that is theory experimentally proven. Okay, now with the help of wave theory, I will prove that whatever we have learned in reflection that is angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection is true. Okay, now we have an incident ray in this way. These are incident rays. Now, in wave theory, we will say that from a source, the wave front is being propagated in all the direction. Right. So, in the case of point source, it would be a spherical wave front. Now, these are the wave front. The red color lines are the wave front. So, wave this wave front is creating next wave front and it is creating next wave front, next wave front, next wave front, next wave front. And the perpendicular drawn to the wave front will give us the direction of propagation of wave front or the ray. So the ray is coming in this direction, but this is the representation of the wave front. Now we have learned that the angle in between normal to the plane angle in between normal to the plane and incident ray is the angle of incidence and we know that this is the normal to the plane and instead of that if I am taking the angle in between wave front and the surface of the plane this would also be angle of incidence I will prove it See, we know that this is the incident ray and this is the wave front. Now, incident ray and wave front would be 90 degree because that is how it has been defined. So, incident ray and the wave front is perpendicular to each other. See, red color line and black color lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay, now the normal normal to the plane and the plane is perpendicular to each other. So, these two are perpendicular. These two are perpendicular and these two are also perpendicular. So, I will draw it. Now, let us say, see this is the angle of incidence and this is my wave front. Now, the moment I rotate it here, it will come here in this way where my wave front is here and my ray is here. Now, when you are rotating in such a way that the ray makes an angle theta with the normal, at the same time, my wave front will also make the same angle. So, one degree rotation in anti-clockwise direction would be in this way. So, one degree will go with respect to this y-axis and the x-axis. 2 degree, 3 degree and the moment you rotate it 90 degree, it would be exactly like this. My point is very simple here. What I am saying is, this would be the angle of incidence. So, angle of incidence is defined as normal. With respect to normal, the angle made by the incident ray. Now, instead of incident ray, I am going to consider the incident wave front. Now, the moment I am considering wave front, I am going instead of normal to the plane, I am considering the plane. So, this angle, if it is angle of incident, this will also be incident. You can easily prove it. These two are 90 degree. So, if this is I, this would be 90 minus I. Now, these two are 90 degree. So, if this is 90 minus I, the whole thing is 90. So, this would be 90 minus of 90 minus I. So, 90 minus 90 would cancel minus I plus I. That would be I itself. So, in this way also we can prove. So, anyway this is angle of incidence. Now, so wave front has reached here. Now, this wave front, the moment it reaches here, we know that this is a, this is not a transparent surface. So, what will happen? The light cannot enter this medium as this is not transparent surface. So, what will happen? This wave front has no option to send its secondary wavelet in this direction. 
Actually, this was it. This has created a wavefront in forward direction. This has created a wavefront in forward direction. But this can't create a wavefront in forward direction. So what will happen? This will act as a source of secondary. This is this will act as a secondary source of light and will send wavefront in this direction, in this direction, in this direction, in this direction. Okay. So these are dotted lines. These are the wavefront as sent by this point. Now at the same time, so who has sent this wavefront? This point has sent the wavefront in this direction. Now at the same time, the moment this wavefront reaches here, the other part of the wavefront is here. So this is the, the whole thing is the wavefr wavefront. But this part has sent start has started sending wavelets or wavefront in this direction. But this part need not this part doesn't need to send wavefront in this direction because this can still send wavefront in forward direction. Okay, so I will make it in big picture. So we have okay, so this has started sending wavefront in this direction, but at the same time this part of the same wavefront the whole thing is one wavefront this can st still send wave wavefront in this direction now in a time t let's consider that this wave has reached this point now the velocity of light if it is c then this would be c into t how this would be c into t because in a t in a time of t this has reached here so the velocity of the light is c so c into t would be this length now by the same time this would also be sending wavefront in this direction okay so this will also send will create a new wavefront here in this way yeah now this distance and this distance would be the same how you know now this here from this point it has sent the light here for a time of t and the distance covered is c into t but this point can't send the light in this direction so that will send in this direction because it is sending its wavefront in this direction now by the same time this will also cover a distance of c into t because it's the same medium c into t c these are instantaneous process from here this is sending in this direction from here it is sending in this direction after two seconds where would this be 2 into velocity of light there it would be what would be the status of the wavefront created by this that would be 2 into the velocity of light it's the same thing because these are happening at the same instant simultaneous processes right now in the next second okay now after two seconds what would be the direction of wavefront see its wavefront is in this direction and its wavefront is in this direction at this point so to get the wavefront after two seconds or after a time of t i have to draw a line that is common tangent to both of these two i will make it super clear now after this this cannot send wavefront in this direction. So what will what it has to do? It has to act as a secondary source of light and will start sending wavefront in this direction. Now this is sending wavefront in this direction and we have wavefront here sending in this direction. So this is sending in this direction. This is sending in this direction. Now after this what would be the next wavefront? common tangent to these two rays so this would be this after one more second this wavefront would be here this wavefront is here this one after one more second this one so connecting these two wavefront i will get an incident reflected ray in this way is that clear i think it is little bit you know difficult to understand at first i will repeat it again Incident ray. Okay. Now this is the wavefront. From this position, it can still send wavefront in this direction, but this cannot send. So what will happen? This will send in this direction. 
okay now the moment this reaches here this would reach here in such a way that both the distance would be same because both of these has happened simultaneously now if this travel 2 meters this will also travel 2 meters now in the next moment this cannot send the wavefront in this direction so this will send wavefront in this direction now this is also sending wavefront in this direction so what will happen from then onwards the wavefront initially it was in this direction now this would be common tangent to these two points okay this is sending wavefront here this is sending wavefront here common tangent wavefront here wavefront here common tangent now this is the reflected ray this is very clear with you okay incident ray reflected ray so with the wave theory i have shown you how the reflection is happening now we will prove that the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection okay incident ray incident angle now this travel here this reaches here now i'm going to draw a triangle here so i have got two tang two triangles here one is abc and another one is adc so comparing triangle abc and triangle adc i could say that ab is equal to cd ab is equal to cd and one more thing what is the r angle of reflection so angle of incidence is equal to angle between between incident incident wavefront wavefront and surface so pre or it can be defined as perpendicular to this what is that ray and perpendicular to surface what is that normal it can also be defined in that way now what is angle of reflection reflection is angle in between reflected ray so this is the wavefront so reflected ray would be in this direction so like i have defined in this way i can also define angle of reflection as angle in between the reflected wavefront this is the reflected wavefront the black color bc is the reflected wavefront and ad is the incident wavefront so angle in between reflected wavefront and the surface is r this is the angle of reflection this is angle of incidence between incident wavefront and surface and it is here in between reflected wavefront this is the reflected ray and this is the reflected wavefront in between reflected wavefront and the surface it is r now see ab is equal to dc because that is c into t now ac is equal to ac it's the same side and angle b is equal to angle d which is 90 degree this is a condition for congruency so these two triangles are congruent now if these two triangles are congruent then these two angles also have to be same and this angle and this angle also would be same so from this i can say that these two triangle triangle abc and triangle adc are congruent congruent so with that angle i is equal to angle r see we have clearly proven that with the help of wave theory the fact that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection is true okay this is a very important relation this is not given in ncert but learn it this will help you to build your concept in coming lectures okay thank you